here we go. I'm plugged in. This is sort of a part two of this um, little subject. Hang on, my camera's gone a bit. Let's try and move it down a bit. Ooh, wobbly. Down a bit, stop. Tighten it up, lift a bit, stop. Oh, dun, dun, dun. should be a decent. It? There we go. Right, what was I got now? As you can see, I've I washed, scrubbed with a <laughs> my trusty sponge this area here where the shrubs were up there so I didn't like that and the water as well I'm looking at it I think the water needs to go right back over here somewhere but I also what I've done it's dried back nicely now so I put a nice a little wash of Naples yellow over that just to sort of give it a bit of a golden glow underneath just need to rehydrate my palette a minute. My trusty squirt. As I said yesterday, it's surprising how quick it dries out. I need to but these are the same colours from yesterday, so I don't need to I'm not gonna waste them. I've got my trusty brushes three brushes under rigor somewhere. What I wanted to do is add some, I decided to add a little bit of cobalt blue into the water as well. So I'm just going to make it damp with a bit of a spray and just put a light wash of cobalt blue. Don't know why, I just got a, I didn't, a, I'm starting at the front because it's a darker area just want to, I don't know, as I was looking at it yesterday, I was thinking that the water didn't feel like water. It needed a, a pickup of just a few bits of, blue, just a hint of blue in it. With the Naples yellow I've just put on underneath, it should act quite nicely. And I'm also pushing the water up over here more to create more of a what I th hmm. Dave's path. This uh, forever be known as my path, I think. And while it's damp, the bit in the foreground, if you recall yesterday, burnt sienna. Oops, bit of blue. And a teeny, teeny bit, bit of the red. I was here on crimson, even. Oh, it's, it's more or less the only red I ever use. That gives us a lovely grey tone that I can squish in as well. A bit, maybe a bit strong, but and easily soften it down just clean water on the brush not too bad I might just put a bit of tissue over the top to go across I'm not worried about this area because I'm I've got those lovely reeds this area the area near the bank can go darker. I was here in crimson and a hint of blue because it's in. I'm 
just going to let that let that make its way down. Take a bit of edge off of it, and I want some shadow over here as well. Where this here is. It's just a lighter version of it. Get it. And obviously there's going to be a nice dark area where it comes under the bridge and meets its way down. That's a bit better than it was anyway. And this is on this far bank. I'll add a bit of shadow in there. I might give it another little spray in a sec, just see if I can get some of the some of the water to bit of blue, bit of Alzira and crimson. Touch it in there. Go on, Dave, you can do this. It's not quite the right brush for that. Just feather it in. Seem to run out of blue, alzire, and crimson. Dollop of water. It's wrong red. You know, mixed up with my reds here. Just want to. It's going a bit too red, so add a bit of blue. Make up my own bit of shadow colour. conscious that this is the reflection of our friends up here. So. When that's dry, I'm going to have to put some this is how that day me. More blue, a bit more Alzira and Crimson, and a bit of ooh, Sienna, burnt Sienna even, and some blue, that'll give us a better grey. A bit more blue, I think. Edge it over there, you can see this, how grey it's gone. So I want to add some more into here while it's damp. Some more information. Might have to spray it actually because it feels. As I say, I'm really surprised how. I'm just going left to right, trying to add a few more interesting shadow areas there. But I'll probably, well, I'm going to spray it in a sec. I think it'll be quite dark, right, all the way along this bank. Maybe a hint more blue in that. Just a it is water after all. And then we'll let it dry off and spray it as well. 
Mm-hmm. Add a bit more. Mm. It's funny, I've almost got too many trees up there now. Never mind. It's a painting, not a photo. I'm just going to add a load of water, see if I can get this to make a, a little bit of a run. Loads of water. Let it run down, see what happens. You can just tilt the paper a bit. And it's, that should give me a nice, and if you feel that there's too much going on and you want to add a bit of texture, you can use a little bit of tissue just to dab it off. It's gone a bit groovy. I'm just going to let that mingle dry and do its bits now. The, um, if I can find Keep losing brushes. You have your favourites, don't you? That's the thing. And I want to put a little bit of water at the top. See if I can just put this some of this into shadow. bit better. Same over here. Let the water do the work. Mm -hmm. A bit darker up there actually. Quite like that. It's like there's a little forest over the other over the way. <laughs> I did notice that there's a a hint of this is nice and wet. A hint of um, raw sienna in amongst this shadow. Just drop it in. Warms it up, no end. And obviously, where the, I'm going to put it, there's like a reflection of the inside of the bridge, so I just want to put it there. I was going to use some burnt sienna, but I think a little bit of raw sienna has a similar effect. Just let that do its job with the water. So I think I can afford to, to put a little drop of it in there. And there is a reflection of the trees. And in my palette, I've got some very light green colour, which I'm going to mix up with a little bit of the raw sienna. Is there any old green to do? Ooh. <laughs> Apart from that green. Two secs. I thought I had a really lovely green there then. Hmm. Well, it's not turning up very green on the on that paper. I don't know. I don't know. It's not too bad. It's because I've overworked this area. So I'm stuck with that. 
could be some pastel work going on there, I think, later. <laughs> and then I'm just going to let that dry off, I think. I've got a big pool of green going on down here. Just a hint of green in my reflections here. This isn't the rigor, is it? I knew I was struggling. Without my rigor, I'm useless. I'm just going to let that settle down, cogitate, and uh, let it dry off and come back. Bit of green on there. Getting there. It's wherever there is. <laughs> so a look, see how dry we are. Anyway, while it's while we're on that, while I'm in the mood, I'm going to add a bit more. It's the same sort of colour scheme to my bridge. Just going to try and reproduce that, which was don't see her now. The hint of Cobalt blue. It's a bit more. Mix up a load of it. Yeah, that's the dark bit of it. So while it's still down. It's just a bit burnt sienna in there. it into make it a bit darker put it into some shadow really. bit of more sienna in it I used the mop on the other part of the bridge. Almost. Let's <laughs> get my little rigger. See if I can add a few extra bits of information. Cool. It goes dry so quick. Look in a few areas of it's just burnt sienna. Same up there. You red bricks is always nice. Brushes gone a bit. Put a few. 
get those lovely red bricks, don't we? Bit of fowls here around crimson. Got a few there. A couple there, because that's the join where I washed it off, so if I can disguise that, all oh, well and good. Take the eye away from it. And a few, maybe a dark line down there. Mm Good, good, good. Still a bit damp, but I'll add a few green points up here. Thing that I'm using, um, hot press flat paper so it's um it's, it's not exactly stress free paper it's far from it being thin just want to put a bit of shadow along there Top. Clean water underneath, just soften the shadow down a bit. Mm -hmm. Just looking for uh, areas to tidy up now. Looking for some extra darks. Use your imagination as well. The river sort of comes around there, doesn't it? Just get that rigger diddling away. Adding a few nice bits of information. I think the trees have come out all right there. I'd like to put a little bit more. Um, a very green refre reflection. So I'm just going to put a bit of raw sienna. It's naturally going to go a greeny colour. I have got this really bright green here as well. <laughs> sort of a. Here's a. Kermit green almost. But it's it's really too strong on its own. But on top of raw sienna it doesn't seem quite too bad. Probably have to when it dries lift a bit out on the top of there because the light's coming over that side. Well, it's the same here as well. A bit of lifting out. I had a, a nice. See if we can get a nice shadow tone. Blue. A bit of crimson. And a tint of brown. Burnt umber, burnt sienna. 
it's all around here, isn't it? That's where I want it, really nice and dark. A bit more blue in there. Mix it on the palette. It should do a nice job. Get my, f my trusty spray gun. And just blend it in. Again, I'm conscious I'm, I'm going to get mud here now, so just let it wash off again. Tilt the pet board up the other way as well. So if we can get it to roll back. into the pictures. It's rolling off nice. Once you're, once you're happy, just lay it flat again and it will just settle down to a shorter degree of tilt. That'll dry back nicely. Get in there, get in there. A lot of work in this picture. So, don't know why all our images are really busy. Busy, 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 busy. I've added a few more shadows to the top of the bridge. So gradually build it up. I've dried it off with a hairdryer, I think. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, what should we do now? Put some foliage up here, I think. Use the, I think I'm just gonna use um fan brush and push it up. Lemon yellow mixed in with a bit of ordinary yellow. Practice side and just add some streaks, see what happens. They're not very green, but I've got, where I washed it out, there's loads of <laughs> sort of blue colour underneath which is going to automatically make it go that sort of green colour well an off yellow is not going to be yellow I don't want to go too far up this time and well, let's add some blue into that take the edge off because the, the blue will automatically I'm just using the edge of it will automatically um, mix with the yellow and go a nice green colour. Go right up to the edge of the bridge. I'm going to leave that as a little bit of a area. Fall off. Try different methods with the. I want to try and leave some of the yellow at the top and add some more shadow. If I can mix a bit up, that's a dark, really dark green there. That's not what I wanted. Just clean my brush off. A bit more shadow, which is Alzerian crimson, and some cobalt blue. More blue you put in. That 
it gives me a nice deep shadow colour. Add a bit of dark, a bit of brown. We can, ooh, always good to take the, the edge off. I'm going to push this into the bank. I think I'm going to have to go with the rigor in a minute. It's very um, impressionistic, this picture is turning in. A bit more shadow. Blend it in. Let's get the, my rigor. And tease some of this out into the water. Put my palette there so you can see what I'm up to. Some of these are um, actually in the water sticking up. So, so I'm just divvling it up and down a bit. It's a bit of green there. It's all kinds of blends of colour in there. Flick a few twigs coming up here. This side I'm saying is in shadow anyway, so I'm going to run out of paint, paint. Some of these go down, I noticed. Some of these leaves they sort of go back down on themselves. I can feel a sense of a little bit of um, pastel in, in amongst this later as well. That's the purple. There's some blue. That gives us a really nice shadow colour. There's some burnt sienna. Add a little bit of blue. That gives a nice bit more blue. It's a nice grey. Take it. Sort of an off. Might add a bit of green into that. It's all local to the to the picture anyway. I'm trying to get a nice bit of dry brushwork going. If I can arrange some nice darks, it will frame the picture nicely. But I'm just doing it fast, I want a nice impressionistic picture. I don't want a photograph, we've already got that. A bit of colour and detail in it. It's all about using the brush in different... I might put some white highlights on there in a minute. Blue and brown, burnt umber. That gives us some really nice darks to add into the bottom where it meets the water. I'm still going to tease out a bit more of the information over here. Bit dry. Don't forget you got your finger. Mm -hmm. It's a little light. Kind of interesting. Push, if you push down and then lift off with the brush, you'll get that reed shape. A bit more water. So it's just a push down and then lift off. Push down, lift off. Get that nice. You can go back on yourself as well. Makes it 
Interesting. Hmm. Didn't like that one. We'll go up again on that. Just added a bit of green into the to the dark as well. Push down, lift up. Works quite nice. You can do it practically anywhere really. Right. Once you establish some you can just make some darker bits on it with your with your rigger. Oh, I love the rigger. It's my favourite brush by bar none. I'll just can't, I'll carry on with this area over here for now. And uh, just when you think you've finished, I look at it and I think mm, needs a bit of extra light on it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of um, white on the side of the parrot. Could scratch it out, but let me just lift that up a bit. Could scratch it out, but I've got this bit of tissue from the other day, so I can quite easily launch some highlights into my riverbank with the tissue. Just push it in. That's not too bad. Just make it a bit damp. The tissue that is. And it will should I don't want it dark, I just want it uh, a really bright light. I just want to intimate that there's some, some light there. It will fade back anyway. And equally, dab in a bit of, bit of yellow. Grab some on the palette, and that will look quite nice. I think. <laughs> and the same goes up here as well. I'm saving this bit from earlier. Just dab a few bits of white on there. Because it was much, much, much too, too dark. Hmm. While it's damp, we'll use the edge of my brush to blend it in. Don't forget, you got your trusty. If you got a knife. Can use a knife to squish it in a bit. While it's damp as well. Same up here. You can always go back over it a bit more in a minute as well. If you need some more of the white. It's not too bad. <laughs> bit of sponge work. It's always good fun. So I'm just going to add a bit more over the over the left here. Just way my photos that I've got that I'm occasionally looking at. It's got the the printer's printed it out in such a way that it's got it looks very. I'm just pushing it. Flicking it up. It looks much lighter than it probably is in real life. 
it's almost like it's capturing the light. Let's push it up. I'm going for impressionistic fun rather than where's my um, fan brush probably oops you can always tell when I <laughs> something didn't go quite right looks like I get through an, an inordinate enormous amount of white but I don't that's lasted me for months and months and months so I'm just going to use the fan brush, see if I can get a, some nice streaks of white in amongst there as well. It's just the way, I don't want to make it too false, just use the Use my sponge to disassemble it. Just get a bit of dry colour on the rigger. One thing I was going to, looking at that, my instant reaction was to get my toothbrush, grab a bit of dark out of the palette and just gently speckle onto the white to give it that that's better so you've got all the seeds plant heads a bit over there so. that do Voila. Just let that dry off for five minutes. Then we'll come back and have a think. Well, I'll have a think and then come back. <laughs> yeah, I know what I meant. Just a little bit tidying up now. I've spattered my way. What? Got cables everywhere. The um, could still got a little bit of um, reflective sort of feel to it there. One thing I was going to do is put a little bit more shadow back there in the find a nice brush to do it with. Somewhere, it's the rigger. Ah, there it is. Thought I'd lost the brush. It's sort of this size brush. I just wanted to. Don't like that. There. It's going to fade that out. Add a little bit more shadow into the background here. I've got so much. Um, just intimate there's a few more trees in there somewhere. It's, hmm, interesting picture. There's so much um, grey in it, or shadow tone, that it almost feels like, you know, it's a bit painting's going a bit muddy. I've got this thick bristle brush here, so I'm just going to lift some colour off of the tops of these. Reed beds over here. Let's see if I can find a little bit of light somewhere. Amazing, isn't it? You spend all that time putting paint on and then lifting it off again. Makes a difference, it's worth the effort. A 
looking for sunshine there. Sunshine on a Of a bristle with a slightly finer, narrow head on it, so I could tease a few extra. I could do the same here, I think, rather than use white. It's got to be careful here because the paper is quite stressed where I am. <laughs> sponged it earlier but you get the um get the idea you can just lift some uh, areas of color off there's a hint of it there isn't there lovely um the rest of it i think i'm just gonna go with it now call it a Maybe just because I'm feeling brave, I'm going to get some cobalt blue and put a little faint wash of it right across the whole of the bridge. Something like that. better and the other thing that's bothering me a little bit is this area here just want to lift a bit of that up and make it a bit grayer well see what happens some of these Twigs could be a little bit fainter. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. And, um, a little bit more. It's almost like a misty, foggy area, isn't it? Just up in wax there. And why not? You could actually put a bit of green in it. Very subtle, if I can find any. There we go. Sort of a, a yellowy olive green. And why not? At least now we know they're definitely, definitely trees. Just a little bit tissue. Very last of the summer wine. Right, not too bad. Um, the two figures at the back. Just want to make. Meant to do it the other day. Add a little bit of colour to the heads. Just a little bit of flesh tone. And then mix up a nice, some nice dark burnt umber, blue, burnt umber, blue, and there's a bit of um, nausea and crimson, which has been the the theme, colour theme, all the way through this. Just take a tiny little dab of that on the brush just pop it on the tops of the heads there you go adds a little bit of extra add a little bit more you can play around with darks adding darks ad bonitum on this Still think this is a bit too dark. Uh, oh, I don't know. It's in sort of shadow, isn't it? 
I'll probably change my tack to my own. But I'm definitely not. Why not have a few? Big friend or. See the reeds poking out. Something like that. Where the shadows are. Just add a few. Da, 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 da. It'll be alright once it's once it's framed. <laughs> oh dear. So, I've got some few little twigs poking out there as well. Very good. Lovely jubbly. Putting these in the front sort of framed it for me. be a bit darker, get some burnt umber. It's actually a yeah. just join the bottoms of these up I think, otherwise they're floating in midair which is a bit annoying. I'm talking quiet because I'm concentrating. Don't want to put too much in. Lazy your river, if you keep rolling. <laughs> Into the night. There you go. Bridgewater Canal. Don't know what it looks like with a little bit of frame. Where's it gone? Sometimes if you put a little board around it, it changes it a little bit. Oops. Don't know what that is. Lazy old river. There you go. Could be yours, sir, for a small fee. <laughs> Voila. That'd do. Part two. Finished. Hope that's inspired you to go for a. Lay it flat as well. See what it looks like. I might take a picture of them. Well. It's my finest hour, but it's not my worst. <laughs> Bless you. Hope this inspires you to have a go. Have a go. Bye for now.